Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Let's get going here. Rock and roll. All right. Bubbles. Yes, we've all been exposed to them sometime or another in our lives, usually during childhood. But bubbles are not just for children anymore. When people see me bubbling and, and such, they always, I always tell them, hey, don't, don't take pictures of me. Take pictures of the bubbles. I'm not the interesting one. <laughs> what I'm going to discuss are lessons of the bubble, not just from me, but from others from around the world. <laughs> bubbles. Now, it's not a religion, but there are, there are some uh, followers and fans. It's a science, magic, making and creating a bubble is a philosophy that goes with it. The science is in the bubble solution, or as we call it, bubble juice. Okay? And the art is in the making of the bubbles, as well as the devices that go into making the bubbles. There's different, all kinds of different devices and solutions depending on the purpose that you want to use the bubbles for. And of course, there's magic. Ah, the magic. That's where the lessons come in. Okay, a brief history of the bubbles, right? Being a natural phenomenon in, of nature, I've always been around. But the act of playing with bubbles didn't really exist much before see, there was soap. The pair soap company in England was responsible for the 19th century popularization of both soap and bubbles. Other terms that include the word bubble. Yep, bubbles. You got the economic bubble, the property bubble. You got the thought bubbles. Then you got spit bubbles. Come on, we've all done them. Soap bubble. I and mean, then, then you got the, the spit bubbles, usually uh, snot bubbles. Then we got IT bubbles. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> okay, the bubble is used in many parts and areas in our lives. It describes something that expands and is fragile. But before I introduce myself, I'd like to introduce those uh, some fellow, fellow, fellow bubbleologists from around the world. This is Andrew Suter, AKA Dr. Froth, bubble, bubble off, I can't, bubble ossifer. That's another new one. Okay, he started bubbling around age 16. Uh, he's been bubbling for a while. Uh, he's he's uh, one of the, the veterans. Um, he used to work uh, with his father at his machine shop. And he, then he got into uh, more seriously into bubbling, worked at two science museums, 22 years of bubbling experience, master's degree in entrepreneurship and innovation, digital nomad. I had a nice Skype talk with these two from Siberia. Igor and Elena. Hey, Igor is an electrician by trade, 32 years old. Elena, she is an artist and a teacher, 26 years old. This is Steve Langley. He's been a professional uh, entertainer now for 20 years, performs with half of uh, the Fettuccini Brothers. He also runs uh, his own booking uh, agency, Fettuccini Entertainment. He holds the world record for the longest bubble chain featured in Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, other accolades uh, has uh, him as a, a certificate of achievement by Bubble uh, Uncle Bubble Products. Excellence in the field of bubble art. Yes, it is an art. Natisha Sion, hey. She's been bubbling since 2007. She kind of has more of a kind of Victorian persona. Uh, she's uh, done and traveled with her bubbles to Italy, Moscow. I can't pronounce the last one. <laughs> before, uh, before bubbling, she was a, a clown, a puppeteer, and a mime. Carolina Jones. Okay, she is my bubble mentor. She lives in Singapore, C or as otherwise known as CJ or Bubble Girl. She's been bubbling uh, for the last eight years in Singapore and is an interior designer by training and events planner by trade. Sam Heath, Sam Sam the Bubble Man. He's been professionally bubbling now for a while. Uh, 
over 27 years, starting in 1989. Right? He's uh, holds uh, degrees in English, world religion, uh, entrepreneurial studies. Okay? The hand symbols that he is holding up is the international sign symbol for bubbles. It's not okay, it's bubbles. We, but bubbles are okay. <laughs> Jim Little, he's a past friend of mine. Um, Influence, influence, and my first influence in bubbleology. This picture was taken around 1985, Balboa Park, San Diego, California. He is uh, using a David Stein wand known as the bubble thing and made his own solutions. He succumbed to cancer about five years ago. And myself, Sandy Snakenberg, I'm 55 years old. I'm a chef, a coach of functional conditioning, speed skating, dance. Uh, now, add bubbleologists to this list. I also work extensively with special needs kids in the areas of conditioning. I've been bubbling for about three years now. Um, it actually helped me quit smoking. And now, uh, been more seriously into it, been honored by receiving the uh, title of bubbleologist by my mentor, who I give gratitude today. Arr. Can't wear an outfit like this and not do that. <laughs> okay, the lessons of the bubble are quite simple, but very profound, okay? They create pure joy and smiles. No matter what race, caste, or religion, they transcend everything, okay? It puts one in the moment, okay? Bubbles only last a moment, okay? And that moment lasts a very short period of time, so you're transfixed on that because it can pop at any moment. I like the cartoon. Finally, the experience, the cognitive pop. <laughs> kind of how it happens. Brings out the kid and everybody. Come on. Who doesn't like Bubbles? Unless you have a dog named Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Brings out the sense of wonder and awe by something so simple. Special needs. I come to uh, Sebastian, who I've been working with for six years now in the area of conditioning and skating. Okay, um, he is now, I'm wearing some of his art today, and uh, they're actually having an exhibition at, a, uh, at another location this afternoon, which I will be going to blow some bubbles, All right? Uh, I've been working with, uh, and his first experience with the giant bubble was just a couple weeks ago, and it was quite interesting. Yeah, he wasn't sure what to make of it, but eventually he just got the hang of it. This auntie, I don't know her, um, I don't even know if she, if she speaks English, but she shows up pulling a wheel basket at, basket at Raffles Place around the same time every evening. She sits and eats while people pass by her as if she's invisible with her head down. I give her a little attention. Sorry. <laughs> give, give her a little attention. Now she holds her head up. No one owns the bubble. No way. You can try, but it pops, okay? It's a shared experience. One person enjoying a bubble, a thousand people enjoying the same bubble, okay? Killing the bubble or bubbles? Pfft, don't kill the bubble, enjoy it. And watch how others enjoy it. This picture of me, okay, was a popular uh, on Reddit some time ago. Okay, this is before I got yelled at. <laughs> some of you might know that, all right? Now, children and bubbles are easy, all right? They just react. Bubbles! And I hear it. I blow bubbles in my wake everywhere I, everywhere I go, okay? It's a great way for your friends to find you. <laughs> or for your enemies to avoid you. <laughs> bubbles? Okay, adults, on the other hand, are a bit different. Many of them with their heads stuck in their phones, and then a bubble floats by, and it's like, wow. They're welcome, okay? Now, at first they enjoy the bubble, but then they're looking around for where it came from, looking for a kid. I could be holding the smoking gun and <laughs> they look right past me. Hey, is this normal? Normal is a setting on a washing machine, okay? <laughs> How can normal be quantified in the human experience? Average maybe? Yeah, but who wants to be average? Okay, now to bring things to full circle, Bubbleologists around the world, how we kind of think alike, all right? Andrew Souter, 
His take on bubbles, life, death, vanity. The universe is made of bubbles. Soap bubbles are just one type of bubble. Igor and Elena. Bubbles for us is the mag uh, magic power, and it has its own gravitation. This is the magic of infinite happiness. We love making bubbles. Kind of looks like they do. This is Reese, seven years old. His mother, uh, Sweezy, has been coming to my bubbling for 90% of the time, regardless of where I go. They're probably my biggest fans. I made them both bubble ones on their birthdays. Now they do bubbling together with me sometimes. Reese takes great pride in his bubbles. She's seen me all at the kids. Don't pop them! It's a great family activity. They're here today. Leticia Sion. Bubbles are like puppets for me. It's my tool to express myself on stage. Sam Sam the Bubble Man. It's, just got, it's got a ring to it. Okay. There are many ways for me to, express, uh, to, to answer this question. There are a celebration, a therapy, a way to break down barriers, at the essence of childhood, basically bringing yourself back in the moment again. Um, it's his living for the past 16 years. When you open up the wand, the loops, and feel the sensation of the breeze in the back of the neck, his feet steady, arms moving, slightest of the wind, it's like painting the sky. And beyond this, it's a connection with the wind. The most amazing thing about bubbles is how it breaks down barriers. This is a very commonality of everything that we do. It transcends everything, no matter what age, color, gender, religion, class, everyone loves bubbles. Except if it's a dog. <laughs> Steve Langley. Bubbles to me are like music. They transcend all culture and language barriers. It's a universal medium for that children worldwide play and enjoy. One of my favorite Da Vinci quotes is, to develop complete mind, study the science of art and the art of science. Learn how to see realizing Everything is connected to everything else. Bubbles demonstrate perfectly. They are the, and this is what bubbles demonstrate perfectly. They are a perfect blend of math, science, art, and fun. It's all connected. And the bubbles teach us that this is the most enchanting and engaging way. Carolina Jones. Bubbles feed my soul. Bubbles help me find my zen. I love the eternal beauty of, of bubbles and their organic Transient nature fascinates me. Their unpredictability, their fragil fragility, makes them really fun medium to work with. And you never know what will occur and which direction they will take. What bubbles mean to me? Quite simple. And I do get emotional about it. <laughs> Joy and connection. Simple as that. When people watch and enjoy my bubbles, it's something over that, that just overwhelms and, and, and is emotional. It's have the ability to evoke something so pure and joy to someone that you may never know over a distance with something so simple and transient without saying a single word and still have a connection. It blows my mind and it makes me addicted to that feeling. And to create that wow bubble that everybody else wows with you. That's icing on the cake. While I'm doing my bubbling, time seems to slow down. Two hours may pass. I actually gauge my time by the solution I use. I'm like, okay, two liters, that's about an hour. <laughs> it does not matter who you are, race, age, class, religion, bubbles are bridges to everyone. We all live on this planet in a bubble. Think about that for a moment. This is the bubble nebula. It is by far the largest bubble in existence that we've known so far. The stars inside illuminate the gases and the material, the dust. Okay? If anybody is interested in bubbles or bubbleology, there is a website you can go to called Soap Bubble Wiki. Okay? It is a great resource. <laughs> Don't feed your dog bubbles. Unless his name is Bubbles. Okay, enjoy the rest of the performance.
Ready? Go. Thank you very much. Thank you.